All right, guys. Uh, good morning. Uh, today is February 5, 2023. Uh, today we'll be comparing the different uh, field views of the GoPro Hero 11 Black and the DJI Osmo Action 3. Uh, we'll be doing this in 4K only because uh, this is where the quality difference of these two cameras are more um, noticeable. Um, in 1080p, they look somewhat similar, but in 4K, that's when the GoPro uh, really uh, shows its um, superiority. Uh, right now in 4K24, uh, linear for the GoPro and standard field of view for the DJ Action 3. Uh, what do you guys think? Uh, is the DJ Action 3 in focus? Uh, by the way, this is a, the, a September 2022 build. So what do you guys think? Okay, now um, I've changed the field of view to wide on both the cameras. Um, from the screen over here, the Osmo Action 3 still looks um, wider than the GoPro. Uh, so what do you guys think? Uh, is the DJ Action 3 in focus in this mode or it's not? Uh, again, we're in 4K24 on both cameras. Uh, ISO is both at 100 to 200. Uh, EIS is on. So what do you guys think? Please comment down below. All right, guys. Uh, now I uh, stepped up to super view on the GoPro, and I left the DJ Action 3 on wide. Um, how's the field of view look? Uh, which one's wider? And am I focusing both of the cameras? Again, uh, we're on 4K24. Wide on the Action 3 and super view on the GoPro. Uh, this used to be GoPro's widest field of view, uh, but with the Hero 11 Black, they've stepped it up and now they have the Hyperview, which is the full sensor readout, and they um, squished it to 6x9, 16x9, anyway. <clears throat> Alright guys, uh, this time around I left the GoPro on Super View and uh, I switched the DJ Action 3 and Ultra Wide. Um, how's the field of view? Um, which one do you guys like better? Uh, both in 4K24? Comment down below which one you guys would like better. The Super View of the GoPro? Well, the ultra wide of the DJI Osmo Action 3. Um, GoPro isn't done yet. Uh, I still have one more option to go, which is the hyper view mode. Uh, and I'll switch to that right now. <clears throat> All right, guys. Now I've switched to GoPro's hyper view mode, and DJI Action 3 is left to ultra wide because this is the widest setting you will have. Um, how does it look, guys? Um, is the is the hyper view wider than the ultra view or which one's better uh, please comment down below which one you guys would like better um, all i know is that the hyper view is taller both up and down and it looks more fish-eyed so you know that's one thing you just gotta consider using this mode all right guys uh, again this is 4k 24 Oh, by the way, uh, GoPro, I have to jump to 5.3K to be able to use the hyperview mode. So yeah, this is 5.3K, 24 frames per second. <clears throat> Alright guys, uh, right now I'm doing a full sensor mode for both of these cameras. Uh, the GoPro has 8 by 7 aspect ratio and I have the DJI Osmo Action 3 in 4 by 3. Um, which one do you guys like better? Um, Right now, I have the DJI Osmo Action 3 in 4K 24 frames per second, while the GoPro has to be in 5.3K 24 frames. Uh, so yeah, which one do you guys like better? Alright, this mode guys is for um, reframing. I uh, know you can reframe uh, 4 by 3 aspect ratio as well, but I think the 8 by 7 aspect ratio is more flexible. So yeah, which one do you guys like better? Please comment down below which one you guys would like better. Uh, we'll also be doing a the 30 centimeter test for both of these cameras. So yeah, uh, I'm about to go do I'm about to go do that right now.
Alright guys, now I'm back to my favorite settings for both of these cameras, uh, which is the 1080p 24 frames per second, uh, wide field of view. Uh, I did leave the ISO to 100 to 200 for both of the cameras, so you know it captures the most light since it's pretty bright out anyway. Um, so yeah, uh, please leave a comment uh, down below what you guys think about these two cameras and uh, how they compare between each other. Again. Uh, on the right, we have the GoPro Hero 11 Black, and on the left, we have the DJ Osmo Action 3.